this is TJ from Aquarium Tip Tank and today I'm going to show you how I have set up and how I use my micro series Omega portable RODI water filtration system. Now I bought this system because it was portable and I figured I might want to set it up and hook it up to any faucet in my house. I want to be able to use any faucet and so I got a portable system instead of just hooking an RODI unit up to one faucet or one hose or one water line. The issue with this portable unit is the fact that it came with this connection here that only connects to outdoor hose type faucets. Everything is color coded. As you can see here, the red line connects to the adapter that will be used to connect to a faucet and that water will run into this adapter then through the hose and into the filter. Now because this adapter that they send you only works for an actual hose unit I actually went and bought for about four dollars from Amazon another adapter that you can hook up to your normal faucet at home and it adapts from that normal faucet to a fitting that a hose will actually fit onto. So what I have to do first in order to hook this up to my faucet is I actually have to take this little brass piece here that's on the end of my faucet off of my faucet. As you can see there's little gaskets in there. Don't lose those gaskets. So I then have to take this piece right here and I have to screw it into my faucet. I'm going to use a little washcloth here to help. Then what I do is I take the actual hose adapter from the filter that was sent to me with the filter and I go ahead and I screw that in. So it's all screwed in nice and tight. And so what I do is I run that red line over and into the actual filters in the filter unit. And then coming out of the filters in that filter unit, there's a yellow line and a blue line. The yellow water line is actually wastewater line. And the blue line is the purified filtered water line. Of course, I want to catch the purified water and use it at a later time for either my top up water or to mix my salt water with. So I have the blue line running into one of my aquarium buckets. And the yellow line for right now is just set up to go down the drain of my tub. Now, you could hook up the yellow line into another bucket if you want to save that wastewater and use it and recycle it uh, to use for things like watering your plants. I will probably do that eventually, but for right now I have everything in the tub just in case if I forget to turn off my RODI filtration system and things overflow or anything like that, I would rather it get caught by the tub and run down the drain instead of actually flooding my bathroom floor. So now that I have everything set up and everything connected, it's time to just go ahead and turn on the water. The water then starts to run through the red line and it might take a minute for it to actually start coming out the yellow line and out the blue line as well. You can see that water is coming out of the yellow line and that's all waste water. There's some particulate left in that and then the blue line there's actually water dripping out of there as well. And that is a purified and filtered RODI fresh water. I basically let that run into there. It takes about an hour to go ahead and 
fill up a five, one of those five gallon buckets. And then what I'll do in a minute is I will actually put the top over that bucket just to kind of secure that blue line a little bit so it doesn't fall out and pop out and I'm not wasting filtered RODI water. Okay, that's it for now. This is how I use my micro series Omega portable RODI water filtration system. This is TJ from Aquarium Tip Tank. Go ahead and say hello to us at AquariumTipTank.com or over at Facebook at Facebook.com slash AquariumTipTank.